Hello everyone, my name is Louis Rolf, I'm 22 and I'm a member of the GB Power Cycling Program and today I'm here to answer the British Cycling members questions. The first question is what does a normal training day look like when we're not in lockdown? Uh, it can really depend really. I either have an uh, endurance ride to do or I'm doing some sort of interval session but it all really depends on what uh, event I'm training for because then that will determine what sort of training I've got to do in preparation for that event. The second question is where is your favourite place to ride a bike? I would have to say that uh, since I've been in lockdown I've been based in Cambridge where I'm originally from and I've, I'd have to say that I've really enjoyed riding my home roads but I would have to uh, yeah I'd have to put a special mention out to Mallorca I've been fortunate enough to uh, have a few training camps out there over the last few years and uh, I've really enjoyed riding out there the third question is do you have any tips for people with a similar disability looking to get into cycling uh, the answer to that is yes British Cycling have just launched their Power to Paris program, which is looking to recruit the next generation of cyclists going forward to Paris. And uh, if you are a uh, keen disabled athlete, I would definitely recommend uh, going onto the British Cycling website and looking into that program because after London 2012 I was re recruited through a similar scheme and just so, uh, just uh, so people are aware I've got a condition called uh, cerebral palsy which affects my right side so yeah I race in the C2 class and yeah my class consists of people who generally have cerebral palsy of some kind and normally also people with the use of one leg so I'd say my class is one of the most competitive classes in all of paracycling and uh, yeah I definitely have my work cut out uh, keeping up with some of the best in my category. <laughs> the fourth question is, what has been your career highlight so far? Uh, my answer to that has to be my bronze medal at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games in the individual pursuit. And that's purely down to the fact that although I was fortunate enough to win gold in the team sprint, at the same event, I think my bronze medal in many ways means more to me because of the fact that it was all my own work and I had no one else to kind of, no one else was responsible for that medal but me. And uh, yeah, I'd have to say that that was my, has to be my career highlight to date. The fifth and final question is, who's the nicest person you've met in cycling? So this is a really hard question because I've met so many amazing people over the course of my career. But what I would say, what I will say is that uh, I was fortunate enough to start my career in cycling when I was 15. And uh, I've always been surrounded by incredible teammates who really help me become the person I am today so yeah I'd say uh, in response to that question that there, there are many people who I've been incredibly fortunate to have met and uh, yeah the memories that I've made with those people I will hold dear for the rest of my life